Who's in here then? There's a letter. And it's glowing as if I should read it. Oh, it's Dimitri, it's the weather person. Mum and Dad, the day is here. I could hardly sleep last night. I was so excited to welcome this new neighbour. I'm sure you both feel the same way. Ever since Noah and Emma passed away, things have been changing in Sugar Blossom for the worse. I think we can all agree. Having to watch dear friends leave town has been tough. So it's great to see someone new move in for a change. I can't help but feel that today is the start of something wonderful. Dimitri. Oh. How does he know who we've met? Oh, he's spying on us. That barley. I don't know. But nobody in at the moment. Let's see, so this is uh, the mayor's estate. Humble home to Petal and Barley. Please knock if you need anything at all. Oh, so it's the mayor's house. Okay. So is Dimitri like the mayor's son then or something? Maybe. Got a little hospital here. A little medical clinic. Let's pop in. A black cat. Hello. Hello. Meow. <laughs> she lab, is that correct? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Liam. Met a marriage candidate in Sugar Blossom Village. Liam is a young doctor who works with his sister-in-law, Madison, at the Wild Rose Clinic. I'm happy to give you a quick checkup anytime you're feeling tired or ill. The clinic is open all hours of the day and night to serve you. Oh, wow, so the clinic's open all the time. That's really super handy. So why is there a journal there? Is that for me to save or is that just for them? Not sure. Can't interact with it. Eye charts! Cool. I don't know why that's cool. Little computer. Bottle. I'm guessing the books are maybe like um, shops or something, but there was nobody stood there. So In fact, maybe I should check again quickly. If I can buy things from... Welcome to the Wild Rose Clinic. I'm not feeling well. Any part-time work? Never mind. I won't take part-time work just now, but that's so cool that you can just go into all of the shops and just be like, yeah, I just want to make some money. Cool, cool. And let's go to the library. Eyeglass library. Reading feeds the imagination. Vacant? Oh no. Building looks empty. We've got to fill this village up with people. Oh my goodness. I have a whole new quest, a whole new purpose in life. So I imagine it won't stay at 26 people. Hello there, I'm Alexander. I run the general store here, along with my wonderful m wife, Mono. Met another resident. Alexander is a good-natured shopkeeper in East Village and devoted to husband... Sorry, I de and a devoted husband to Mono. I can't read. It's too late at night. We're also happy to welcome you to Sugar Blossom Village. I love this. I love this. Yeah, I know. I'm starting to feel really engaged. And like, I've got to get the fishing place open. And I've got to get the library open. Postal service, 3 till 7, closed weekdays. What time are we now? 8.50. Not open yet. Okay. Post office later then. This must be the general store. 9 till 9. Oh, it's just nine. It just, just so happens to be nine. That's good. I know he gets purple hair. I don't get no purple hair. Is this Mono? Hello. Hey. Welcome, dear. You must be the new farmer everyone's talking about. Pleasure to meet you. Mono's my name. Oh, she gets green hair. No fair. Take your time, look around our shop. If there's anything you need out there on that farm of yours, don't hesitate to ask. Cool, cool. Let's see, what have we got? Everything with a red tag is up for sale. Okay. I've got some money. I want a watering can or something though. Something that I can use to, for my farm. The fridge here, look. Kitchen icebox, 1,000. How much do I have? 1,017. Oh, I could get that, but I would have no money left. That one has a red tag. A token for the Fortuna raffle. What's the raffle? 
No one's told you about the Fortuna Raffle? Well, it's a weekly drawing we host here at the general shop. The way it works is simple. Any time during the week, come into the store and buy one of these three tokens sitting on the table. Each one's got a different value and a different payoff if you win big. Each Friday, I'll draw one chip at random and broadcast the results over television. If yours is the lucky winner, you'll score some cash. You always have a one in three chance, and as I said, the amount you win depends on which token you decide to play. What do you say? Uh, care, to, care to give the Fortuna raffle a healthy shot? Not at the moment. Let me know if you change that young mind. I will do. So what's all this then? These are paintings. It's a little... Is that dog food? Doggy chow. Ten a cup. Yeah, let's get some of that. Um, Why don't we get... I don't want that much. Five, maybe? Yeah, sure. I got five doggy chow. Thanks for your business, dear. You make sure you feed your pup once a day now. I will. What is this, then? Stereo. No, I don't need a stereo. What are these? Bedspreads. No. So that's cool. There's loads of stuff you can get. Curtains. I go up the stairs. Yeah, there's not much stuff up here though. I can really looks like I can interact with or anything. Things I can interact with seem to glow, so Who needs farming when we can gamble? We haven't done any farming. No, I know. I know. We, we went and looked at the farm plots and looked at the barn, so they, that was good. Ooh. A calendar. That might be useful. Inquire about this item. The season's calendar is a great way to keep on top of special festivals and events around Sugar Blossom. That season's calendar will run you 520. I'll come back for that. I might need my money for farming supplies, so I might have to do that first. Makes you want to play Stardew. Doesn't it make you want to play this game? It's cute. Very cute. Oh, look, they're playing football. Little soccer pitch. Hey there, stranger. It's great to see a new face rolling around Sugar Blossom. Met another resident of Sugar Blossom Village. Cole is a talented musician, musician who lives and works with his girlfriend Amber in Breezy Meadow. Amber and I are relatively new to the area as well. If you have any questions, you can always feel comfortable talking to us. Okay, I will. Now we all know that Leon White Star is playing Tabletop Simulator. I'm really sorry about the notifications, guys. As I say, it's, it's the difficulty sometimes with games where they just won't go into game capture mode. Right, have we seen everybody around here? Oh, look, there's two people on the bench over here. Wow. We're getting through these people. Oh. Greetings, stranger. My name's Madison. Welcome to our humble town. Madison is an experienced nurse who runs the local clinic with her brother-in-law, Liam. Ah. If you're ever feeling under the weather, visit the Wild Rose Clinic and either I or Liam will help you right away. Cool. Wow. Well, well, hello, it's wonderful to meet you. My name is Petal. So I'm guessing that's Barley's wife, yeah? Petal helps her husband Barley manage town events and affairs. I like that it tells you, like, what their relationships to each other are and things like that. <laughs> Everyone's attractive, even the old man. Yes. I mean, she, she looks just like old and happy doesn't she she looks like i think i think the beauty of petal is that she's smiling you be sure to let me know if there's anything at all you need don't be a stranger okay i'm gonna head off in this direction see which area i get to now this is primrose plaza we've got another map of the world over here and once we get past here, we need to go back to the, maybe the West Village. Okay, let's just check out the plaza first then. So what is this building? The Town Hall, public hours 9 till 6. Let's head in and see if we can uh, have a look around. Oh yeah, there's someone in here as well. 
The she lab. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. I'm Dimitri. Yay! Finally meeting Dimitri. But not a marriage candidate. Dimitri helps his father, Barley, run things in town, including events, festivals, and operations at Town Hall. And doing the weather. All of us are very happy to have you here. If you ever have any questions or need help with something, find me or my father. Okay. What's through here? Employees only. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chest over there. What's in that? Can I access it? No. Can I check out the calendar or do I have to have my own? Oh, right. You can check out the one in the town hall. Very good. So there will be a spring market in about a week, a silver stallion dash just after that, a misty music festival and a spring market. Oh, spring market seems to be like every two weeks. Ah, okay. I'll have to check that out. This is such a cute game. Oh my goodness. So I guess festivals and stuff might happen over here and things. Squirrel, you're you're a crazy squirrel. I'm running around, you almost knocked me over. Okay, I think we should head back to West Village now. Yes, market day is every other Tuesday. Oh, I see the signs telling me where to go and stuff. I need things like that. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. Head across to what I think will be West Village over here. Excuse me. Hey, Paxel. Certain times of year, I find it tougher to leave Sugar Blossom after a few days. The spring season is definitely one of those times. Game is so cute. Oh, this is Dimitri's house. Okay, uh, we've met Dimitri, so we probably don't need to go into his house right now. This looks like a bar or something. Midnight Tavern, open 2 till 12, close Sunday, sit by the fire, have a special brew. It happens to just be 2 o'clock. How handy. Oh, so there's a couple of people in here. <laughs> Fair greetings to you, lass. My name's Orion. It warms my bones to see such a fresh young face in this town. And he gets green hair. Come on. Crazy squirrel is redundant, if that makes sense. This game, yeah, this game is on Steam, and um, it if you wait around for sales and stuff, I got it for like two pound in a sale because it was it was on offer. So Orion runs the Midnight Tavern, the town's only in and drinking pub. I sell all sorts of tasty drinks in my tavern. You'd be sure to try them when you need a rest from all that farm work. There seems to be plenty of places to rest. Who are you? Well, hey there, stranger. My name's Indigo. I work at the tavern here in town. Indigo Montoya? No. Indigo helps his father Orion run the village's only inn and drinking pub, the Midnight Tavern. Great to see you're all moved in and ready to start your life here. I'm a sugar blossom lifer myself and can tell you this place is amazing. It's nice that he's lived there all his life and he still thinks the place is amazing. A lot of... What's this? Why is this closed? Not sure. Seems all sorts of things that, that I can bring the town to life. Lady Kate Leonard hacks game so I can marry Paxel. <laughs> there is a bakery. We haven't even met everybody yet. My goodness. I, I maybe should be trying to earn my crust. Hey there, Sheila. What can I do for you? Uh, what are you selling? Basic ingredients for cooking and baking and tasty seasonal dishes. I need ingredients. Milk, eggs, cheese, flour, bread, sugar, oil, and butter. Okay. Well, I don't know if I need those yet. Happy cooking, Sheila. She Thanks for stopping by the Aroma Bakery. Ah, so that's who you are, Sparrow. Don't remember, sorry, don't worry if you don't remember everything these first few days. Life in Sugar Blossom will probably take some getting used to. 
Yes, it will. I'm not going to explore around your house. So the West Village has the bakery and the pub. It seems to be like a very food-based area. The guard house, home and office of Quint, the village sentinel. Well, let's have a look and see if he's in. No. Okay, so I wonder if I can see... Um... Ah, yes, there we are, my villager... I've got my pocket diary, a small portable journal for keeping important notes, used to record progress anywhere. Noah's notebook, collection of notes about life in Sugar Blossom, and the villager checklist, names and faces of every Sugar Blossom villager, try to meet everyone. So, we've done everyone except for Zachary on the first page. We've got some more people on the second page. Okay. We're doing quite well, I think. Well, what's these places then? Taylor Trixie's vacant. Okay. What's in here then? Sorry for barging into your house, whoever you are. Bet you're not even home. Okay, so that's West Village all done. Is there a place more to the west than West Village? Or is, is this the westerly most west place in the west? Seems to be the most westerly most west place in the west. So let's go up to the north. So I think we might be back to my house. Oh, there's grapes on the floor there. Let's get those. Maybe I can eat them or something. Although I don't seem to need to eat them. The back to Breezy Meadow, which is... I think where my house is? No, maybe it's not. Meadow Gallery. Art Gallery, okay, cool. We have an art gallery. I like. Who's going to be in here then? So I can buy things for my house. Hey there, we haven't been introduced yet. My name's Amber. Cool. Amber is an artistic soul living in Breezy Meadow where she paints landscapes and crafts jewellery. <laughs> We're so excited to have another villager here in Sugar Blossom. It's a beautiful place. Oh, I'm liking this game so much. It's lovely. Right, where are we going now then? Mm, let's see, maybe it tells us where to go on this signpost. North to Sunflower Farm and west to Honeybray Pasture. Let's go west to Honeybray Pasture first and then we'll, then we'll head up to the... Oh, so I bet loads of the ranchers that I haven't met are probably over here. Okay, Honeybray Pasture for all my ranching needs. I like that it's all kind of grouped up as well, like... Kind of know where you need to go for things then. Hello! Oh, you're a cute sheepdog! Oh, you're lovely. Looks like the pasture shop is closed right now. Okay. Can I get into the barns? Don't disturb the animals. Okay. Eight till five, right? So it's a little bit too late to go to the pasture shop, and I'm not really seeing anybody else hanging around. So maybe we'll head to the other area. I'll go grab that flower, though. My dog wants to chase the squirrel. That is a lovely detail. He barked at the squirrel. Maybe you can't romance some of the seemingly eligible guys because they're the romanceable characters for a gay male player character. Maybe. Quite possibly. Well, here's someone we haven't met. Hello. Howdy there, farmer. My name's Haley. Delighted to make your acquaintance. My 
met another resident of Sugar Blossom Village. Haley is a farmhand at the Honeybray Pasture where she lives with her mother and father. <laughs> Such a pleasure to have a new friend in town, not to mention one as bright as you. I hope to see you around town. Okay, we'll head up here then. See what we can find. We've met quite a few people now. So this is Sunflower Farm. So I imagine here would be a good place to find farm, like, um, farming tools and things like that. We may have to pop over here another day though, because it's getting really late and everywhere's shut. Except for the pub. Maybe we could go back to the pub and see who, who pops in at night. Seems as it's quite late. We sell seeds and tools for your garden. So this is where to come for my tools and stuff. This is why I hung on to my money. But yeah, you can see how the farming works here. The crop planting anyway. Greetings, uh, Udo Krayenfeld. How are you doing tonight? Okay, heading back to the pub. I think it's just right the way down to the south. There's a little fishy in that pond there as well. I can see him. Right, so we're back in West Village, and I'm pretty sure it was West Village, which was where the tavern was. I guess down here. So I want to come in here and see if anybody's, like, visiting the tavern more at night time. Maybe they were doing their job in the day, and maybe it's all full of people at night. Surprise, surprise, it's full of people. Hello. Pleasant days, you farm. I'm Logan, the handsome buck who handles your product when you're ready to ship it out. Nice. Met another resident, Logan. A genial town shipper who transports goods into and around Sugar Balsam. You make sure to put a plentiful bounty in that shipping crate of yours, otherwise I'll be out of a job. Oh no, we'd better, we'd better make sure. Howdy. Nice to meet you, young'un. My name is Zachary. Welcome to our town. Met another resident. Zachary's an animal expert who works with his family at Honeybray Pasture. Okay. It's always great to see a new face in town. Just holler if you've got any beast-related questions I can help with. See, I might not remember quite who everyone is, but they all, they're all they all probably going to stay in their kind of vague areas. You've got the animal sort of area, you've got the, sh the shops, you've got the shops that are more food related. So I know where to go if I need a particular thing, which is always nice. Okay, so Eden Fruit increases your maximum energy. This one costs 500 coins. No, I'm happy at the moment, but good to know that you come and sell Eden Fruit at your stall in the middle of the night. That's great. I've met those two. How are we doing? Let's have a look at my list. Okay, so. Everybody on the first page is done. We've got a florist, a rancher, and a couple of farmers and farmhands, which maybe I'll be able to find tomorrow. Bryn the Mixologist. Hmm. Seth the Abbot. And Quint the Sentinel. We are really close to getting everybody, though. But I'm thinking it's probably time for me to head to bed. Look in the corner. What, did I miss something? Did I miss something in the corner or did you mean the stall? I didn't miss something. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's an RPG Maker game, this one, but it's actually a decently done little RPG Maker game, so it's, uh, it's one of the decent ones, I think. Oh, everyone likes Paxel. Paxel's like the dude, isn't he? 
The doo doo is loved by all. Back to Breezy Meadow. And then I think it's this way to my house. Ah, handy map. Yes, we need to go back to Willow Creek because that's where my house is. Right in the middle. So farming stuff is to the left. Fishing stuff is to the right. Shopping is to the south. Well, that makes total sense. I like things that make total sense. A lot of games made with RPG Maker are good. Yeah, there's a lot that are good. And then there's a lot that are running on. But this is apparently one of the good ones. And it has some very decent reviews and stuff. Found a wild mushroom. I think it's good because it means that people with ideas can... Um, but maybe not quite so much technical know-how. Can just like get on and make games. Which is really nice. Okay, so go up here. So this is... Serenity Ranch, so this is definitely like our house. So Noah must have been our grandfather or something like that. So back to home. So in the morning, I'll go around all of the um, farms and stuff. Nice to save each day, I think. Yeah, I'm ready for bed. Okay, remember, accomplishing special feats around town will register them into your marks journal and unlock secrets. Okay, well, we'll try our best. So today, what I want to do is to pop over um, to the places that I went to a bit too late yesterday. So I want to go back... Oh, hello. Oh, Good morning, Sheilab. I thought I'd stop by and see how you were doing. <clears throat> I hope you're getting used to life here. How have your first days in Sugar Blossom gone for you? Uh, I'd say I love it here so far. I've met loads of people. You're not just saying that for an old mayor's benefit, are you? What a lovely answer. Anyway, I thought you might be able to use these old fishing supplies. The rivers and ponds of Sugar Blossom are full of healthy fish. Received a fishing rod. Received juicy bait times eight. Without a landing net, You'll only be able to catch one fish at a time. Unfortunately, there isn't anywhere to purchase one at the moment. It's such a shame that Wake, a dear friend and our town's fishing guru, was recently made to move away. He used to run a wonderful shop over in Fisherman's Spring. <laughs> oh, the special programme, Lady Kate Lennon, is only once a week. Every week, so every Monday we need to check it. Sorry, pardon me getting misty-eyed with memories of old friends. It's difficult to accept when someone is forced to leave Sugar Blossom. I hope you're able to master the art of fishing without equipment. A bright young lass such as yourself should have no trouble at all. If you run out of bait, you can always use your digging spade to find more in the dirt. Good day, Shilab. See you in town. Wait for him to walk away and then I think we'll help be free to move. There we go. Wow, he was fast. Every Monday is a cookie one. Maybe there are different ones, different days. Well, you know what? Let's go and double check, just in case there is. That's a good point. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, so get ready for a sweeping medieval tale of friendship and dark fantasy. Yes, it is once again time for the hit program, Prophecy Quest. In this special premiere event, join us as we meet Juno and Bree, two young peasants destined to become timeless heroes. The legend begins now. Sit down to watch one hour episode of Prophecy Quest. Alright then. Make sure to tune in next week for another thrilling episode of Prophecy Quest. Um, sunny day, take a stroll around town, or a nice picnic in the park. News, is the news still me? Oh, a rare ashen fox has been sighted in the woods. Try not to scare it away, this majestic beast. Cool. Thank you, Lady Kate Lena. I thought that we only had, uh, like, cooking once a week, but it's different things each day, isn't it? But a different cooking show once a week. I don't know what 
It did, other than take an hour away from me though, watching a prophecy quest, but I'm sure I enjoyed it. <laughs>